What's up, what's up, my fellow gamers? Welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Series. We are back for episode four here. And as you can see behind me, I got all the bone meal we needed to kind of cover up that whole front face of the little like island cliffside. I actually don't know exactly what it would be, but it's looking pretty nice having it all. And I kind of just wrapped it all along this side over here. And it just adds a little more detail. It might be a little too much grass is what I was thinking but I kind of like it a lot. Like it, it's really starting to grow on me, no pun intended with the grass growing. But I've also been working on two other things and one of those would be I've got all our potatoes planted and we got a ton of potatoes growing and we have a bunch of beetroots growing, probably more than we'll ever need because I never really use beetroots and the only thing they can be used for is food. So Mojang, add, some, add another uh, recipe for uh, beetroots make them a lot more useful in the game. And then also I got some cows down here. I've really been breeding these guys up a ton and I still got a lot more breeding to do, but it looks like it's nighttime. So I gotta go shreep. Also, I'm sure you guys are wondering how I got all the bone meal needed to bone meal this whole front side. And actually in between episodes, I was doing a little strip mining and I found ourselves a skeleton spawner. So I actually got a time lapse of that guy while I was building it up. It's pretty simple, no design really to it. It's just very functional and gets the job done. And it's not necessarily an XP grinder. It's more so I can AFK there and get the bones, but we might turn that into an XP grinder since we're gonna be getting our enchantment table set up today and we're only at 26 levels. But I think I'm gonna play that time lapse while I get these guys breeded up. You guys will notice also that it's not in shaders. I didn't really see the need because it's underground and I didn't know how the shaders would act if I did a time lapse under underground, if it would be too dark or kind of what would happen with it. So I'm gonna throw that time lapse on right now and when you guys come back i should have enough cows to kill all of them off and get ourselves an enchantment table going So part of what I love about that skeleton spawner is that it's right down this river. So it's kind of a little scenic journey down here. And my idea right now, which I think is pretty cool, is kind of have a series of bridges kind of connect these two landscapes going all the way down to the skeleton spawner. And maybe the skeleton spawner could be a good stopping point for this part of the village. And then we can start to go into the plains biome. I don't know for sure, but I really do love the fact that there's a river right here. And I think on this side, so this side would be where our village is right now. Let me just shift out of here. So our village is over there and it's really cool. You can just see the very top of the windmill. But so the village is right here or it's over there, but it's gonna carry down here. And then I think on this side is where we're gonna have a lot of our villagers once we move on to that point. But part of the reason I'm heading down to the skeleton spawn right now is I wanna rack up a few levels real quick because we're only at 28 and I really don't wanna get the enchantment table set up and then not be able to enchant and just have to come back over here to get a few levels. So what I'm gonna do is actually break the campfires that kill the skeletons and just kind of turn it into a grinder for now. And then once I'm done getting levels, I'll just put the, the campfires back because I already made two. And then we're gonna get started on getting some enchanting done. But I also, now that I think about it, I gotta make ourselves a diamond pickaxe because I don't know if the one we have right now has enough durability to get a few pieces of obsidian because I'm also gonna collect up some for the portal. But I will see you guys once I'm up to, I'm thinking I might go up to 33 levels. I know it's not the most efficient to kind of go past level 30, but I think I'm gonna go up there so we don't have to make the journey back here once we get one enchantment in. So I will see you guys once I'm up to that level. So I got the obsidian that we're gonna need. I actually got 18, so we can make a full portal that uses 14 and then the four for the enchanting table. But then also down here, I kind of forgot that you need sugarcane to make bookshelves or books, I mean, to get the paper. And yeah, so I had to make a little temporary sugarcane farm and that's really all we're waiting on now because I'm hoping this should be enough cows. I mean, if it's not, I'll be really surprised, but there's gotta be like almost a hundred cows in here. It's 
as you can tell, it's pretty loud and it's pretty packed in here. So the cows are ready to go. I have some wood and uh, we're up to level 36. So we should be able to get three level 30 enchantments in, which is pretty nice. So I'm actually gonna harvest up these cows and hopefully by the time I'm done harvesting those guys, this will be finished up and we can head down there and harvest that up. And we have our enchantment set up. We got 16 bookshelves and one enchanting table. Did I get some lapis? No, I did not. And we probably wanna bring ourselves a crafting table also just to have so we can actually get some crafting demo over there. And now I have two crafting tables, sweet. All right, let's head over to the windmill and we can get these guys placed in. This was kind of perfect. I kind of wanted to do it here originally and I'm happy that I did make this a five by five because then we can just fit these guys in and that's why I made one extra bookshelf. Perfect, that is exactly why I made one extra. So then we can do something along those lines and then just get all these placed in. And that should be 30 levels. Yes, that is. And let's see what our first enchantment is. Efficiency four. So I think we're gonna make ourselves a brand new pickaxe. And where should we put the crafting table? I guess we can just do it right there. And then we'll do a little barrel for anything else that we will need right there. Let's craft ourselves up one brand new diamond pickaxe and let's get this guy enchanted. So we're hoping that we get something better than just efficiency four. That's why I do have extra levels and we're now actually up to 38. And you know what, I'm good with that pickaxe. I'm perfectly fine with that. And efficiency four and breaking three, that is a good working pickaxe. And we do have a silk touch book that we could throw on this guy, which I think I'm gonna do. And then let's get ourselves a diamond, uh, what's it called, a diamond uh, sword made. Let's see what we got for this guy. I'm breaking three. Okay, not bad. And then we can also make a diamond ax. I'm just gonna kind of craft everything and then we'll get a diamond shovel too, just to have. I mean, might as well just get them all crafted already. I don't see the reason not to do that. And it's not like we're gonna need the diamonds for anything else. And we have one more so we can make ourselves a jukebox. Perfect, yep. And now we're fully out of diamonds, but let's check what this guy has. So that's fortune three. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So if I unenchant this guy, we might get fortune three. Oh, you know, we're gonna do it on this one and we can just get this guy repaired. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't disenchant this one. So next up, we can check what our shovel has to offer. What does this guy got? Knockback two, not the greatest. And that's on breaking three. I think we're gonna go with this guy. Yeah, actually let's see what a bow has. If it's infinity, no, it's not infinity. All right, let's go with our diamond axe i want to say yeah uh actually no we'll go with the shovel shovel's more important to me and that's decent i'm glad it's on a shovel because efficiency three i'm pretty sure is still insta mine let's actually go check real quick we just got to run down here over to the grassy lands and just give it a quick swipe i think it is though i'm pretty sure it is still insta break no it is not that is a mega bummer all right we're gonna probably disenchant this guy and get ourselves set up with an efficiency four if we can get one and then i'm also gonna throw that silk touch book on to this pickaxe right here so i gotta get ourselves an anvil made real quick and now that we have our anvil we can just place this guy down right there is perfect and let's see what this will cost us only four levels yeah i'm willing to do that of course i'm willing to do that then we can put our sword right there. We got our shovel and then our ax. So now we got full diamond tools right here, which is pretty sweet. And then we can just kind of throw the rest of this stuff in here just to have along with the books. Let's actually see what the next enchantment will be on a book. Protection three, definitely not worth doing. And yeah, pretty much else we can take with us. Yep, nothing else there. So let's head back over. I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff put away and we can get started on our next project for today's episode. So we now have our lovely jukebox set up and I actually did get a CD from, uh, what's it called, the skeleton spawner. And of course it's like the worst one ever, which is 13. Absolutely hate that disc. I like Maloney, I think it's the, or Melody. I don't know which one it is. It kind of has like a pink and white, uh, cover on it and it looks super super good and it also has the best music definitely but kind of bummed we didn't get that guy but uh the next project for today's episode is going to be a nether portal now we're not going to go into the nether in today's episode because i don't have a bunch of time and i do want to try getting a nether fortress conquered when we go on there for the first time just so we can kind of get set up with some blaze rods and get some uh what's it called brewing stands going which would be pretty nice to do and i'm thinking we're going to do the nether portal down here and we're going to go with kind of more of a mystical vibe to it and my plan to build around it to really give it a cool look is we're gonna have the path kind of wrap around and it's gonna go out not onto a bridge but almost like 
a little walkway that sticks out a raised walkway and then the nether portal is going to be right up here and the plan for the design of the nether portal is so we have these custom trees here and what i think i'm going to do is actually have two of them kind of lean over and have them come into a cross like an x shape and then have them split back apart and have them stick up so there's going to be two directly next to each other but i think it could actually look pretty cool if we did it that way and then we're also going to use some campfires to kind of make it look like so the area is like charred on the ground and once we get some blackstone we'll do some blackstone on the ground too to really give it that charred effect and make it look like the area has kind of been burned up from the heat of the portal i would say so and then just some lanterns and then maybe a few other things but i still have yet to think of them kind of a last second thought here to get the portal built just because i think it would be kind of fun to build this in today's episode. And we're not gonna do a time lapse. It's just gonna kind of be like almost a step-by-step -step as I'm going along, which should be pretty nice. But what I'm gonna do is get uh, some of these tr uh, trees cleared out right here. And then we're gonna get started on the portal. All right, so now that the trees are all cleared out, I also added a little bit of extra dirt just to give us a little bigger of a platform to build this on. And we're gonna go pretty simple here, nothing too crazy. We kind of just wanna have all this stuff in our inventory and the leaves can wait. So I'm thinking how we're gonna go about this is we don't wanna have it directly in line with that tree. So I'm thinking maybe we go right there might actually work and I don't want it to be sideways. We're gonna go all the way into the ground, even though you won't be able to see that. I think it's a good idea just to kind of have it there for good placement. And I was kind of thinking if we went with a three by three, the trees would be a little further apart, but I don't think I'm gonna actually go with that. I think I'm just gonna go with kind of how I have it now and we wanna break that guy a little bit. And then this could be, so the portal's gonna be right there. So maybe we actually come forward one with this or two. We come maybe like that, I'm thinking. That might work and then so on this side we can do something a little bit along the same lines i'm guessing it's kind of tough to do this but yeah i'm thinking maybe something along the same lines then do something like that and then maybe like this so i brought these up a little higher and got the obsidian placed in here and i think we want to get all of it placed in just so we know how tall this thing is gonna have to be and for now we'll just do placer blocks in the corners we might just end up putting obsidian here but I don't want to place them down and then have to break them just because obsidian is a pain to break. Okay, so we have that right there. And I think we're going to start bringing these guys over into the X right here. Maybe we might bring this one a little early. Uh, actually, no, I don't think we can. So then we just want to grab this and this. And maybe we can do something kind of along these lines and then double spruce it. Actually, that's not going to work the greatest just because... Yeah, I won't be able to sit there. So then with this one, maybe we can do that and we can go like this and then have it, ah, this is so tough to do. This is not something easy to do. So then we want it to shoot back out and just kind of like that. And then we'll do a slab on the other side just so there's a little difference or we can actually do that right there which doesn't look half bad all right i'm gonna get the leaves done here so i got the leaves all placed in here and i think it turned out pretty cool it does have a little bit of an odd shape to it but i like how i did them at different heights i think it gives it a little more detail to it and then i also placed some leaves kind of around the base of it just to give it a little more too and i also have a pretty cool idea that i think will look pretty rad so if we actually grab this stuff and i also grab some podzol now that we have a silk touch pick and we're going to place that around here and i think it'll kind of give it a cool little burnt look but first i think we're going to kind of come around here and once this fully grows up i think it'll look a lot better i did not need to do that right there let me actually place some water in right there and actually get our dirt back and if we just kind of go around and place some of these beet roots in it'll have a red look to it which i think will look pretty nice and then maybe we can do one right over here and i keep breaking the dirt for some reason there's no need to do that so we can do a few more back here and i keep going to break the dirt and once again i have no reason why i'm trying to break it maybe we can do one right there one right there and one right there and i think that will actually look pretty nice so that should do it for the actual beet roots but i think now we're going to come around and maybe place a few pods of uh, grass in or just pods of blocks and just kind of have them go around. Once again, it gives it kind of a little bit of a burnt look, which I think will look pretty nice. So we can do that there, maybe one right here. And then just, I'm gonna kind of wrap it around the outside here. So that is all the pods will place in, or at least all I collected. And then we're just gonna kind of come around with some bone meal and just grow some double high grass and some normal grass. We gotta watch out there because that's where the path is gonna be. And we're almost done here. And once we get this finished up, we're actually gonna take a step back. And I think this stuff, no, nothing grows on Podzol. 
All right, good to know. I did not know that one. I thought stuff did, maybe. Dude, can you place lilacs and stuff down on them? Okay, yeah, we can. So I'm actually gonna bone meal a few of these guys up real quick. That should be plenty. And we're just gonna kind of go around and place a few of these in. And once we get into the nether, I'm gonna be grabbing a few crimson vines and warped vines just to place around, which I think could give off a pretty cool look, especially having that red. But you know what? I think that is looking pretty good right there. Definitely adds more to the village. We're not gonna go into the nether this episode as much as I want to. I do wanna get ourselves a bow and arrow built up. You know what? Ah, uh, we might run in there real quick. We might just go check out what there is. All right, let's go. We're going in, we're going in. Let's see what spawn we have in here. We're not gonna do any exploring though. That's the only catch. Okay, we're lagging. Okay, that's terrible. That is a terrible spawn. Okay, now I need to make my way out of here. Oh my God, that is so bad. It's insane. That is terrible. Okay, let's just cover all this up. Wow, we literally spawned directly over a lava lake and then inside of a basalt delta. That couldn't be any worse. All right, let's go back through. We'll figure this out for next episode. I'll make sure to bring some stone through so we can kind of protect the portal around it. And yeah, I think we're kind of done with the portal here. There isn't much more I can think. I'm getting a little bit of lag. Maybe we can get some stairs right here. And I think we might also carry the pathway kind of around like I was saying and bring it over here. So we're actually gonna wanna get two paths built up today. The first one is gonna be this one and this one isn't gonna be too hard to do. We're just gonna kind of cut through the wheat farm here because in episode five, I have a few plans that's gonna involve kind of carrying over to the other side of the river. So we wanna get a path set up. So next episode, we can get a bridge going across here and then build something on that side. I'm not gonna tell you guys what that is. You can check my Twitter in a few days to see if there is a teaser out. Usually I've been doing that on Twitter. Twitter is just Toby Foxy Gaming, pretty easy. And then the second one is gonna be over here, which we're gonna kinda have it come out and wrap back around and back in because I'm thinking of almost doing a wagon right here, like a flipped over wagon or just a normal wagon. And then I've yet to decide what's gonna kinda go down in this area but we'll figure that out later. I just wanna get this path built up. And then lastly, I kind of forgot to do a few things over here. And one of those, I did wanna get a few campfires put in. I gotta place that lilac back. And we wanna grab our trapdoors, which are already right there, and just cover that up and the smoke should be able to come out. Actually, oh, I don't love how that lines up perfectly with the bottom of the tree. You know what? We're gonna have to break this guy. I can use my silk touch pickaxe. I'm pretty sure to get this guy back. Sweet, yes, we can do that. Uh, let's place that back there and we can just do it maybe right here we'll do it and then just kind of go like that and place that guy on top and then we want to do one more let's say did i break that no i did not uh let's say right here right here should work pretty well and we can just kind of go like that place that guy in and shift on top of it nope we are in the way and now we have some smoke coming out which makes it look a little bit more charred so i think we should get started on the pathway bridge type thing right now i had to get myself some cooked steak or i'm cooking some steak up right now from all the cows we killed earlier so we're gonna carry it on we're gonna be using this brick and granite idea for kind of the walkway and then we're going to be using either oak or spruce logs as the foundation holding it up so all we want to do i think i'm going to uh pathway that right there and maybe this one right here and maybe that one and i'm just going to start off by taking some okay so we're, we'll start with oak logs and kind of see how this turns out but let's get rid of that one right there and maybe bring up these two and then we will get some of these in our inventory. Let's move that guy over. Uh, you know what, I don't have any stairs for granite, so let's actually just make a few. Actually, we'll make eight of them. Eight of them should be enough. We're not gonna need a ton here. So I would say let's do something along these lines, then move it across, and then maybe like that. And then if we grab some brick slabs and granite slabs we should be able just to kind of bring this guy out and just kind of carry it along and i want it to kind of round out like i was saying so we're gonna want to do this maybe and start to bring it away from this edge and we want it to be wide enough so we can take a horse down it i would say so this should be enough if we just kind of carry it like this maybe we go like that and then kind of keep it straight from here not too much curve to it and then we want to mix this up a decent amount so maybe like that and then right here we can add some more brick in and that should be far enough away and we're probably going to want to add 
something right there and something right there. So I'm gonna get this all the way wrapped around real quick. So I like how this is looking right now. I added the oak logs to the edges and we might lift the middle up a little bit to give it a little more depth and detail to it. I have not decided yet, or we might drop it down. I don't necessarily know which one. The only reason I wanna leave it low like this is so we can actually take some trap doors and add a little barrier edge to it, which I think might look pretty nice. Or we might use some fences, which I only have 13 right now. So I might craft a few more of those guys up so we can get a little bordering edge going. So I got the little pathway bridge nearly set up. We just got a little bit more detailing to do. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit the little carriage slash wagon kind of in place just cause it didn't come out enough. Unless we kind of flatten this area, we might be able to. I don't know for sure. I mean, well, yeah, we'll try to get fitted in there but we're just gonna come through with our typical kind of look here for the top of the post and just put in these, uh, what's it called? What are they called again? Andesite, andesite walls. And we also gotta get rid of this tree here because it is uh, intruding a little bit. So we can place that one right there. Maybe do this one right there, one across right here. And that should light it up enough, I would think. Yeah, I think that's gonna light it up enough there. And it does look pretty cool. I think a, we might add a roof on maybe next episode when I get a little more brick and granite. I don't know for sure, but I think that would look pretty cool if we did do a little bit of a roof. And I got the path going a little here. So I think I might flatten out this area just a bit and try to fit in a carriage. So I really wasn't able to fit a little carriage in over there. So we're just gonna get started on this path here. And I'm thinking we can kind of have it arch a little bit out here. And I cleared out my inventory. Yes, I did. So we can just kind of have it arch around and then we want it to drop down maybe right around there. So let's actually take our shovel and I actually collected up a decent amount of grass so we can get this all placed in. So we're just gonna do a little three by three and kind of break this all the way down and I'm missing blocks left and right. So I got the first half of the path placed in and we're just gonna remove a few of these guys and kind of give that leaf outline just to make it look a little more organized and a little nicer, I think it will do that. Yeah, it, it did last time when we kind of did it around the outside of the wheat farm. So this is looking pretty good here and I think we're actually gonna do a little more right there and then place in the seeds right along there. And then we do wanna grab some oak fences, which I should have planned for this one a little better. And we can do that right there and maybe that right there. And then we can probably do two right there. And we're gonna add some lanterns onto the top and I think I'm gonna connect that guy. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for this top half. And so we're gonna move down onto the second half, which is pretty short. We're just gonna kind of do the same thing, get rid of those blocks and break all this. And we gotta get rid of that too. Break that guy. And I'm gonna replace these guys with grass and kind of get the path all finished up. So I'd say this is a pretty good idea right here of the first path and the second half of the path going down here. We're not really, really gonna go any further than this because the bridge is gonna be a diagonal bridge and it's gonna shoot right over there. So I kinda wanna wait to finish this side of the the path up until I got that bridge made because these bridges can be a little tough to make especially when they're diagonal and then I was also thinking of maybe we do a bridge over here too right towards this side of the house I want to build this one first and then see what it would look like if we did one kind of that, that shoots across this way I think it'll look fine and I do want to do a series of bridges kind of all the way down this river but we have a little bit more time for today's episode just a little bit so I think I'm going to jump over to the skeleton spawner not literally going to jump I'm going to go run over there and get a few more levels and maybe we can get one or two more enchantments in before today's episode is finished. So now that we're back up to 36 levels, I actually think we should get a little bit more enchanting in, like I said earlier. And I got ourselves a grindstone so we can actually grind down this shovel because I don't think the shovel turned out very good. So we got that guy grinded down and let's see what this has to offer. I'm guessing it's gonna be fortune like it was earlier. This is also gonna be fortune and that is gonna be fortune too. And this was flame, so I think we're gonna go for that flame. Let's see what a book has to offer maybe. Protection three, you know what? I'd rather go with the flame and check what this has. Uh, that's all right. I mean, we have arrows because we have a, uh, what's it called? A skeleton farm, but I think we're gonna go with the efficiency four on the shovel here. And that kind of sucks, to be honest, not very good. This is also efficiency four. Let's check this, please be good. And also not very good. All right, at least we got a full set of diamond tools here. 
I'm not going to complain too much that we got full diamond tools now. It is nice having it. I mean, I do want to get infinity on the bow and then breaking on kind of everything else. So we're definitely going to have some more enchanting to do in the future. But with that being said, guys, I think that is going to call it for today's episode. We didn't get as much building done as I wanted, but we still got a few more things to do, such as the bridge. And I think we're going to get a barn built up next episode across the way. And we're definitely going to head into the nether and try to get a nether fortress conquered so we can kind of get our brewing setup done. But with that being said, I think that is the end of the episode here today. So thank you guys for watching very much. And I will see you guys in the next episode.